recently I bought this secure S60P soldering pen which is meant to be used with GBC soldering tips the smaller ones C210 I used GBC for many years so I was really excited to finally get soldering pen uh, that uses the same soldering tips so it was advertised as supporting power delivery up to 20 volts so I thought there will be no issues to select power supplies and when I received my soldering pen I went and uh, take all my powerful uh, power adapters like this Lenovo from a laptop 100 watts should be plenty for GBC 210 soldering tip at least I thought so so it it negotiates 20 volts power delivery 20 and you need to press and hold uh, this button to activate the uh, soldering tip and what do you see is this soldering pen reboots okay I then tried another one I have this is from Dell laptop 90 watts also should be plenty and you see this Dell one has LED on us USB-C socket indicating power so I activate and it's not rebooting but it shuts down you see LED not lit up so my guess is that power supply went into protection mode it was overloaded then I have this power brick 120 watts let's activate shuts down reboots so what the hell Let's go into menu, investigate, volts, let's go to this menu item, everything is on auto, power auto, protocol auto, low voltage alarm off, don't know what this means, so everything is on auto, and still soldering pen is not working there must be issues in a firmware settings so I started to experiment I googled some information online and first thing that I noticed or thought about was that power option in menu that I should limit the power let's do that power and let's limit to the 
lowest value, which is 20%. Let's go back and make sure the setting is applied. Yes, it is. You press both buttons to go back. And here we are shown that it's 20 volts, 20%. Let's activate. Still reboots, what the hell? With 20%. Let's try another one, which we need to power cycle to reset the protection mode. Let's activate. Okay. This uh, icon indicates power delivered to, or at least voltage delivered to soldering tip. Seems that the second power supply works with the reduced uh, power. But why the first one, which is even more powerful, still reboots? Let's try another one. The third one. Let's activate. This one also is working with the reduced power. So if you have an issue with your power supply and uh, this soldering pan which is meant for GBC cartridges C210 to solve your reboot issue you should try to lower the power and still this may not help you with some power supplies okay let's try this other way around let's leave the power on auto and try to lower the voltage PPS programmable power supply, only one option, just simply states PPS, quick charge and power delivery indicates particular protocol, but still you have 9 volts, 12 volts, no 15 volts and 20, so let's select 12. And it's not 12, it's 15. And it's because my power supply does not have 12 volts option in specifications. So I guess it's defaulted to 15. And I don't know why the menu doesn't have a option for 15 volts to begin with. But okay, so power is an auto and the supply voltage is 15 volts let's activate the tip and it's working okay let's try the second one
Let's activate. And it's working. Okay, now let's try the third one. The one that rebooted even with the 20% of power selected in the menu. Let's activate. Reboots. Uh, what a shame. So I guess this power supply has very sensitive overload protection. Let's try both things lower voltage and uh, lower power okay. let's activate Still rewards. So, from my knowledge in electronics, I suspect that the control of the tip is very primitive. It just feeds the power from the source and doesn't do any intelligent uh, PVM control and does it doesn't use uh, power control it actually is not using uh, current measurement or voltage measurement to actively control the power of the tip and it simply feeds through the power to the tip and the source should handle it at least it looks so from this experiment. And I thought about it because as I mentioned, I used GBC for many years. I have some knowledge about these tips and I know that the resistance is very low of the heating element. Let's measure. Control check. Shorting the terminals. Zero ohms. This is the clone tip I received with the soldering pen. Two ohms, roughly. No. This is original GBC. Also two ohms. So if we would do our math with the ohms law, we came up with that if we just feed forward the source voltage to this kind of resistive element we will have current roughly of 10 amps and this is well above pd20 specification which is uh, 20 volts 5 amps they should implement uh, something like pvm control to lower the value of voltage, I mean mean voltage, uh, to the soldering tip. And uh, speaking more about this topic of resistive elements, I, I know that 
for example, GBC soldering tip, the larger one, C245. This is original one, GBC. So it's two and a half ohms. These cartridges on original GBC soldering station are driven with 24 volts. So 24 volts are more in line with PD20. And these uh, smaller ones, 210 soldering tips on GBC stations are driven with uh, partially rectified uh, secondary uh, voltage, so it's about 12 volts. So that's why the inrush current when the heating element is activated is so high that it trips the protection of the power supply. And uh, Secure also has a soldering pan for the finest GBC tips, which are C115. And I know by fact that these on original GBC stations are driven by 9 volts. And these have resistive element of roughly 3 ohms. So if you will buy secure soldering pan for these tips, if I remember correctly it's called S20 or C20, I don't remember, you should choose your power delivery options accordingly. You should choose PD9, where I should choose PD12 with these ones, or Secure could uh, implement their firmware in a more elegant way and control the voltage source because they advertise this new upgraded version as capable of using 20 volts PD power delivery but what's the benefit is if it's just reboots but overall I really like the soldering pen. It feels quality. It feels good, good in the hand. I think I will like it. I just don't like the fast and ugly firmware that they supplied. 